Welcome to our channel everybody, I'm Teresa. Today's video is going to be another tear tray and also I'm going to give you some inspiration on how we can do some vintage inspired books and also some decoupage books. So as always, I hope y'all get some inspiration and I really appreciate y'all for watching. If you haven't joined my Facebook Home Decor page, I'd love for you to go over and join it at Our Green Acres Home Decor and DIY Inspirations. Also, go over and follow me on Instagram. Okay, inspo number one is going to be a tiered tray. And this is going to be a continuation of part one and part two. And I'll have links to those videos down below and at the end of this video. Okay, first I spray painted the plates um, Rust-Oleum Satin White. The hardware I spray painted black. Then I printed out some graphics off the Graphics Fairy website. If you're not familiar with their website, they have tons of free printable stuff to choose from. So I chose this one for the bottom, and I'm going to take this little top um, piece, and I'm going to trace around it so I can get a circle in the center of my graphic to go over my bottom metal base. And I'm just going to cut it out, and then I'm going to slip it down over my bottom base. Now I went with a different graphic. I thought this one was a um, more of a consistent shape to the bottom one. And I'm just going to get a, I got a pencil and just poked it through and made that hole. And then y'all know I love Gorilla Adhesive Spray. So I just um, sprayed both of those. And if you want to put a sealer on them, you could definitely Mod Podge over it or you could do a spray sealer. Okay, the next project we're going to work on is I'm going to repurpose these books. I made a pumpkin out of these last year, and I'll attach um, the video link to it in my description box. But I'm going to repurpose these for this year. So I'm going to pull the books apart. They were hot glued. And then I'm going to paint them linen white. So now I'm just going to line my books up. And I'm going to use some hot glue and I'm going to reattach them. And I want to get my fronts even because I want a smooth front. Okay, this is another graphic from the Graphics Fairy, and I'm going to measure it across the books, and then I'm going to crease it towards the ends of the books, just so I can get a good area for where I need to uh, get my ruler and make a border. And I'm going to make my border a little bit larger um, than the space that's going to go over the books, because I want my, my, my sides to overlap. So now I'm going to add some Mod Podge to the back and then I'm going to adhere it to the front of the books and then you'll see I'm going to take a, a little paintbrush handle and then I'm just going to, you know, work, work it on there as best I can, work out the bubbles and then I'm going to actually, uh, in those creases of the books, is where you're going to split the paper. And if you put plenty of Mod Podge over the top of it, um, the, the paper works really well. And here I'm just, like I say, I centered it on there. And um, there's my paintbrush handle. That to me worked the best. And you just start working on it. Be very careful with it though because the wet paper, it will tear. So just kind of work it. 
and work it in those cracks until it will tear and then once it tears then you'll want to take your Mod Podge on your brush and then you'll want to seal it down into those cracks. Okay, now I'm going to repurpose some more books that I have. And um, I'm, I'm basically, I'm going to use three of these for the project. The other one I'm going to use as stage. But I just took some more books and I'm going to do the same technique. I'm going to use my linen white chalk paint. And then once I get them chalk painted, then I'm going to get some distress ink. And I'm going to distress them. I want them to look aged and vintage looking so I'm going to add that distress ink and then I'm just going to use my finger I work better with my fingers when I when I rub it out and then you know I just want to get it on the binder really well just to give it that brown aged look And this is one of those wooden scrolls um, from Amazon. You get four to a pack. And I've showed these in previous videos. But I can also link them to, um, to Amazon down in my description box if you're interested in them. But I'm just basically taking the same distress ink. And I'm just going over it, um, you know, in the raised areas and working it in with my fingers just to give it that distress look also. And if you don't have distress ink, you can also use, you know, antiquing wax. You know, you can use like craft paint, you add some water to it and make a stain. That would also work. And now I'm just going to attach it to the center of the books where I thought it would look the best. And I'm just using some hot glue. And there it is. That's it. And I'm going to add a little bit of twine to it. And I'm going to show you how I take. These are not vintage keys. They're, they're more like little craft keys. And I'm going to take some chalk paint, linen white. And I'm going to give them about three coats of chalk paint. And then I'm going to take that distress ink. And I'm going to distress them also. And then I'm going to tie them on with some twine. hope you're enjoying the video so far and if you are please hit that like button it really helps out our channel we really appreciate it
These roses are from Rose Forever of New York. They last up to one year and come in a beautiful black velvet box. So if you're interested in going out shopping their website, there will be a $15 off discount code in my description box and a link to their website. If you haven't subscribed our channel yet, we'd love for you to. And also, if you know someone that would enjoy this video, please share it with your friends and family. And until the next video, I hope y'all have a great week, and I will see y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching, y'all.